Hi, this is Jocelyn D. Tagaro from Bitelad 3BHE and I am here to discuss about the gender roles and stereotypes from the subject gender and society. So before we proceed in our discussion, let me define first what is exactly the gender roles and stereotypes. So what is gender roles? Gender roles in society means how we are expected to act, speak, dress, groom, and conduct ourselves based upon our assigned sex. For example, girls and women are generally expected to dress in typically feminine ways and be polite, accommodating, and nurturing, while men are generally expected to be strong, aggressive, and bold. Now, what is a stereotype? A stereotype is a widely held, simplified, and essentialist belief about a specific group. Groups are often stereotyped on the basis of sex, gender identity, race, ethnicity, nationality, age, socioeconomic status, language, and so forth. Now, why there is gender roles and stereotypes in our society? It is simply because a stereotype is a widely accepted judgment or bias about a person or group. Even though it's overly simplified and not always accurate, there will be an unequal and unfair treatment because of a person's gender. So how do gender stereotypes affect people? This may affect the person's emotion and personality and will experience an equality and unfair treatment by the society. Our society has a set of ideas about how we expect men and women to dress, behave, and present themselves. But gender stereotypes are dangerous because they can cause us to might be disoriented in our perceptions. When individuals don't conform to our gender stereotypes, the result can lead to discrimination and unequal or create unequal or unfair treatment. Now let us proceed to our four basic kinds of gender stereotypes. The four kinds of gender stereotypes are the following. We have personality traits, domestic behaviors, occupations, and physical appearance. First, we have personality traits. For example, women are often expected to be accommodating and emotional, while men are usually expected to be self-confident and aggressive. The second one is domestic behaviors. For example, some people expect that women will take care of the children, cook, and clean the home, while men take care of finances, work on the car, and do the home repairs. For the third one is occupation. Some people are quick to assume that teachers and nurses are women and that pilots, doctors, and engineers are men. And for the last one, we have physical appearance. For example, women are expected to be thin and graceful, while men are expected to be tall and muscular. Men and women are also expected to dress and groom in ways that are stereotypical to their gender. As our society moves to a broader construct of what gender means, individuals who are stuck in this binary idea of gender have a difficult time wrapping their brains around individuals who do not fit into a strict gender dichotomy or do not identify with any gender at all. For example, assertive women are called bitches and war, while men who do not appear or act masculine called sissies or wimps or assumed to be gay which is a very offensive stereotype in the LGBT community.